Three months ago, 22-year-old Swedish golfer Caroline Larsson was told she had cancer in her right leg. She first began to feel that her knee was swollen, but did not see doctors until a year later, when she had trouble bending her knee to read putts on the golf course. Caroline had dreamt of being the next Annika Sorenstam, and having just turned professional, was about to try and qualify for the 2012 Ladies European Tour season. Her right leg was amputated in May, but despite this, she's already back on the golf course. I thought the doctor was kidding with me. I thought it was a movie. And uh, this is something you read about, and this is not me. So I thought he was joking, and then I told him, why are you doing this, and why are you messing with me? Because this is not fun. Can you stop, please? And when I saw his eyes, he was not joking with me. I realized, okay, this is what is going to happen. And then I got very angry, of course. It was a dramatic change, so yeah, I shouted at him. Despite her life being turned upside down, Caroline bounced back and just a week after the operation to remove her leg, she was swinging a golf club in her hospital room. Yeah, I'm very positive because I'm very thankful that I'm still alive and that the tumor has chosen to stay in my leg and uh, didn't spread out the whole of my body. Because they, the doctor said if it would, then I would maybe not be alive in one year. So that's why I'm I think I'm so positive that I got through everything so well and the operation went good and I'm still able to do everything in my life so I'm very happy. Of course like some things take longer than before but you gotta be patient I think. With her younger sister Louise already on the ladies European tour Caroline was en route to follow. She had travelled to New Zealand to be her sister's caddy at the start of last season, when the tragic earthquake that hit Christchurch put life into perspective for the young sisters. We were actually sitting in a lunch restaurant, a little tiny China restaurant, uh, while the earthquake was starting. And uh, of course we didn't know what that was, because I've never experienced such an awful feeling that the floor was shaking underneath us so bad we could not even sit. So my sister just shouted, we need to get out. And the only thing I was like, was going through my mind was, okay, I have to save me and my sister's life because this is so dangerous. So while we were running out on the street, the building on top of us was crashing down and uh, the, the ground was shaking so much that I could not stand still. So I actually fell in the street and passed out. So I was lucky that my sister got me off and we could run from that place before, yeah, we would not have been alive anymore. So it was very close. That was her old life. In her new life, things can no longer be left to chance. New practicalities present themselves in everyday life. Patience is needed and day-to-day -day living is not easy. The things that are like, that I have to be most patient about is that, like, the normal things. When I'm home and I'm not wearing my processes and I know that the food store are closing in 15 minutes and before I could just run down and grab a milk and egg and now it takes so much longer to get ready. So I'm, I think that I, I, don't, I don't have time to go there and that's the biggest problem. That's when I miss my leg the most. But for now, life moves on for this inspirational young golfer as she learns new tricks and works out how new methods can be adopted to further her game. As if golf isn't hard enough. I can learn a lot being a one-leg golfer, but the golf is good now. Uh, the one thing that I'm hitting it quite shorter than before, but I'm, I'm straight most of the time, so... I think it's it's good, but I need to focus more on my short game now. Caroline has decided that she wants to pursue playing on the Handy Golf Tour as she adjusts to her new life. But the dream of making the Ladies European Tour has not been forgotten. Far from it, as she hopes to one day join her sister. And our betting is she can make it. I'm excited about the future. Like everything, I see everything that comes to me as a challenge that 
I need to work out. And everything is not as natural as before, so I have to really work for it. But the things you want, you can.